My name is Lacey Henderson. I'm a Paralympian. I grew up like playing every sport. When I was nine, I started complaining a little bit to my parents about my leg hurting. We finally went to the doctor and after a bunch of misdiagnoses, I was finally diagnosed with synovial sarcoma. We did a bunch of chemo and finally my organs were failing, like my colon collapsed, my kidneys were failing and we had to amputate, it became my only option. My senior year of college, I started training for track. I ended up finding long jump kind of along the way. And the first year that I long jumped, I broke a 17 year long American record and I've been making teams and winning medals and breaking records since. And I've just really fallen in love with the mastery of sport, especially as an amputee. Technology has affected my life and my quality of life tremendously. When I first became an amputee, I was little and like all they really had was mechanical componentry. I had my first experience with microprocessor prosthetic technology when I was in college. And at first I was like a little weary about it because it was heavier and I was just so used to these like very, very basic components. It almost makes me feel sad for myself that I waited so long, that I wasn't more apt and excited to learn about what technology has to offer me, specifically as an amputee. Now we have knees where there's accelerometers, there's gyroscopes, so it knows like what angle the knee is actually at. If I'm sitting, my knee goes into battery safe mode, so I don't have to charge it every night. I know I can rely on it, that it's not gonna die on me, that I'm gonna be able to still use it the same way that I use it every day. I knew going on this trip, it was going to be a challenge for me because it's so opposite from what I do. But at the end of the day, the things that we have in common is it's how do you push yourself? How do you talk to yourself when it gets hard? What are the skills and what are the things you have inside yourself to pull yourself out and finish the job? Up until recently, it did not occur to me that somebody could hack into my leg. I have an iPhone app, it's programmed through a computer, it's all Bluetooth. My leg lights up when it's connected to my iPhone, so now it seems like, since I know a little bit more about cybersecurity, my anxiety levels about that has changed. I've done a little bit of my own personal research about cybersecurity and what that means, and now I'm understanding that since my leg can connect to an iPhone app, that it can connect to anybody's iPhone app if they really wanted it to. That's kind of concerning for me because as technology develops, it gives so many people, so many things back, but it also presents risks that not necessarily all of us are aware of. If somebody were to hack into my prosthetic, it would be a violation like at a completely elevated level because there's still trauma associated with the disability in and of itself. And you were given this device that kind of gives you your life back. And I can't imagine if that were to happen to me, how I would be able to cope with that. It's just such a betrayal of humanity. We're living right now in this world of technology where we're only seeing the benefits, but we're not considering the risks. We don't talk about the fact that like, we are all just active users of technology and we need to be active users of cybersecurity because we're all vulnerable. And it needs to be something that I think we all need to consider moving forward because it's not going anywhere.